So in today's video, we're going to be talking about... Just unlock your phone to not look at anything. <laughs> Just unlock your phone. In today's video... <laughs> what was that? Assalamualaikum As everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Juhi. My name is Hamza. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how we met, online dating, and everything leading up to our NICAP. I'm going to start with how my perspective was. So basically, we met online, matrimonial site called Half Our Dean. So yeah, I found that website through um, a MSA West conference. They were handing out these cards, and I thought, okay, might as well try it, because nobody in my area seemed very committed or interested in marriage at all at that time and fast forward two years i was going on the website to delete my profile because nothing was happening i was like okay this is doing nothing like i should might as well just delete it right then i saw hamza's profile as like a new profile person and i saw his age and it said 22 and i was like oh okay cool like he's just two years older than me that works out one of the things i saw is that he likes anime and he also just from his pictures just seemed like a nice guy i messaged him i was like oh assalamualaikum i saw in your bio it said that you like anime which ones do you like that basically is how and that's where it took off yeah that's where it simply where it's that's my perspective when I first saw the profile and then after that point when I was asking him very serious questions because I really wanted to get to the point and to know this person was actually serious and how they would mesh I guess with me in my life and how if we had the same values and morals and things of that nature when he answers those questions he was very articulate which really helped and then from his answers I was like okay he seems really committed he values Islam a lot in his life and he practices it which was very important to me because as you know when the prophet was asked what you should look for peace be upon him when you should look for a partner said four things and the biggest one was character and that's what i was going for i didn't care for the other three, three. um so i was looking for character and he seemed like he had a really good character based off of his answers mind you we still haven't actually like talked on the phone yet it was all just strictly like all through the website this is, exactly. this is all through the website Okay, and then I guess you can talk about yours now. Okay. Your perspective. Um, yeah, so uh, how mine was is mine was uh, basically very similar to yours. I was searching in my area, or I was um, I just couldn't really find anyone. I was mm -hmm. twenty. You said twenty two. Yeah, I was I was twenty two at the time. Yeah. And I've heard of halfardeem.com before. The concept of online dating or meeting people online was just kind of foreign to me because in my head I'm thinking how bad do you have to be at socializing that you have to go to the internet which isn't true okay don't don't take that as like gospel but that's like where my head was until like i literally like be two or three days after i made my profile mm -hmm. from this woman right here this she she messaged me saying yeah like oh um i still like i hope hope you're well and she was like i hear you like anime like what type of anime do you like and then that's literally where it, it took off from then and then you know we started doing minor talks you know like what are your what are your likes or dislikes and stuff like that and then came to the main questions which you and i both were asking some of the questions that i asked were um what is it that you see in a uh, in a spouse like in a, in a partnership like mm -hmm. what are what are the important things to you yep. and then i'd say like, what these are the important things to me what is it that you're seeking out of this relationship like what like to elevate your status or like or what is it exactly that you're like looking for to, to gain more iman uh, that's what she said and so there was there was it was in-depth questions so after she answered all the questions like, like truthfully and like i answered the questions truthfully i was pretty i was pretty sold i was like you're sold i was sold yeah i was like you know what i have i had no i now my family thought i was naive for this but i had, we'll get to that like in the next section i was like no she's the one i yes this one Cut in Thor. I like this one. Then uh, that was basically that online process. Once we found out that we said, okay, you know what? We think we're compatible with one another. We mm -hmm. then took ourselves off the market. Now moving on to informing our parents. And this is where the culture clash kicks in. Mm -hmm. It's because, well, one, we didn't mention previously, but we lived in two different cities. But we lived in the same state. Yeah. Which was great. So. Yeah, we lived in the same state, um, but we're in two different cities, which mm -hmm. was like eight hour, eight, 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 eight hour hours difference. Driving distance, yes. Yeah. Also, it's kind of obvious he's not from my ethnic background. I'm 
Indian Hyderabadi. Obviously born and raised in America, and then you're... I'm African American, born and raised here. My family, yeah. all raised here in America. So that's sort of just background wise. And then um, I'm also a child of immigrants. So this is a very new concept with like online dating and also intercultural relationships. is isn't as common in my Khandan or whatnot. Um, so when I introduced the, like this idea that I'm talking to someone, he seems really good, like a good guy. Like right away they're like, bro, this is online. Like, come on. Like, how are you supposed to get to know someone just online? Mm -hmm. And on top of that, this person is like completely not from our cultural background. They won't understand anything with, you know, our cultural, our backgrounds or anything. Like, they won't get it. So that was like the first no. Like, it was like, nope, not interested in even discussing this. No further talk about this. So that's where I was at. And then I had to let Hamza know like, hey, my parents aren't about this. Like, it's going to take a while. And I wasn't even sure how long because again like I never brought up like marriage a person from a different culture before so I really didn't know like how long it would take for this process to even go like I was more like maybe this won't work at all like I was kind of on that brink and I let you know so that was what happened like on her side mm -hmm. and uh actually right right before we took ourselves off the market we did give each other each other's phone number she gave me her phone number and i gave her my phone number which actually wasn't my phone number it was my mom's phone number and then after we took ourselves off the market i informed my mom who i'm, I'm like really close to mm -hmm. um and my family i said hey um i found a person of interest thinking about moving forward with this so i had a discussion with my mom which was pretty straightforward she was like okay she just asked like you know what's this mm -hmm. what is she like and um she first asked like you know the other questions like oh like are you a citizen and everything like that when oh, I show the, when I show the picture yeah. and everything it was all so like my my family was like had their concerns I was I I didn't really have any concerns but then again this is like my first time I didn't know what to ex what to know and what not mm -hmm. to know so she got some contacts from you like she said she yeah. wanted to speak from five different people that know you closely and yes. then interview them about you and we yeah. had one mutual friend actually that. Uh, yes, knows yes, yes. both of us and actually knew my mom which caught us all off guard so um, yeah so. that 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 concept really helps that does then help, she got so. she got a better sense of like our family and who i was and then i got a better sense of who you were mm -hmm. based off of who i was speaking to right and mashallah they're very articulate mm -hmm. so it like really like described him very well and it made me feel really good so after we discussed with my fa my family and my family felt better about it it was it was around that time where i said okay everyone's on board i would like to speak with your dad and then yeah. this is where I her no. yeah this is where on her side it's like mm -hmm. she brought it up and everyone like wasn't too ecstatic or like her your family they like, didn't want to like speak with me yeah no like, no, they, no. Like, the, yeah. I, the idea was like they just like they, they they didn't want to do with it yeah. so yeah so no one on her side was was on board but that's how the culture clash was until a couple of months later which was i think three months because i said I, I i said i would wait like you know like like till the end of the year like three months because i don't want to start looking elsewhere mm -hmm. on the uh, in the meantime while her family decides whether or not they should or should go through should or shouldn't go through with it like i was waiting for a definitive no after they gave me a shot if that makes yeah. sense so after this point I, I told him like hey like this might not work this might you know will work and he said okay i can wait for three months yeah she gave me a mic she yeah like, this, so may work, this like, may not work because i'm gonna wait until i hear a definitive no yeah I and then i think at else. this point we still hadn't really seen each other at all. And right. then, I don't, I'm not sure when this happened, like maybe a month or two later, mm -hmm. he was at his aunt's house. I was at my aunt's house. Yeah, so, just telling them everything. Yeah, I was, tell I was telling my yeah. aunt and my cousin, oh, I may have met this person, I showed them the pictures, and they they had like, mm, I don't know, my aunt thought you were 36. So she was like, mm, nah, just, she's yeah. like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. And I was like, That's I don't. So funny. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. And then like my, my other cousin, she's like, mm, you should probably FaceTime her right now with the rest of us here. And I was like, all right, but like, I, I really was like, I'm sold on this. Like, I feel yeah. nothing. I feel no doubts, like no nothing at all. Which is crazy. I put in full trust in this one, which FaceTimed her. She was yeah. in her car, so you pulled over. And then like, when I saw you FaceTime, I was like, oh my gosh, like, mashallah. Like, I, I couldn't say anything. I, I was like stunned. I was, I, I, I was <laughs> stuck at first. Like, uh, hey, <laughs> then just. Yeah, well, they saw their face and everything. They was like, okay, yeah, I'm not catfish. Like, this is, she's the real deal. It's a real person. 
we talked for like literally like 15 seconds had let you drove back yeah, home yeah yeah and then um hung up and then i was like and that was i think our so first that, that she's real <laughs> that was our first facetime and it was so awkward but the important yeah, part was like really okay nothing. so doubts were had on each other's family but no doubts were had within us yeah so after i saw him on facetime i'm like wow he's like like a hiking nerd that's the check the mark i was gonna say check okay the looks matches the looks like i wasn't catfish but you just happened to say that right when i all right okay moving on to the next bit yeah, of conversation no, but he seemed really nice so i was like oh he seems like a nice guy he's very awkward like i'm sure he's just a shy guy whatever but like he didn't seem like a crazy person so i was like okay like he's nice he matches what i've been talking to and i didn't know that that you were actually like shook by looking at me or something mm -hmm. i was completely yeah i was caught off guard not in a bad way but i was caught off guard because i was like wow marshall you're really pretty no oh, yeah thanks. and it was like like I, yeah what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> How do you think I'd get this far in life? What do I do? Yeah. <laughs> From the FaceTime leading up to now MSA West, waiting, I was doing a lot of istikhara at this time. Me and my parents were not seeing eye to eye regarding this. I didn't want to disrespect them because obviously I value their opinion. They were concerned for me and want to take care of their child. Like, it's about safety and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. of course, like, but obviously at that time i was like like can we at least try you know now we're at msa west and so, yeah so. this is when i'm gonna be meeting hamza in person and i let my mother know like hey i'm serious about this guy i'm gonna go meet him and his parents when i told my mom hey like his parents are coming she told me oh we should invite them for dinner and i was like whoa that is kind of crazy i was like are you are you sure like are you serious are you like playing a joke on me like I was really shocked. Pranked, punked. Yeah, was punk? I was yes. just like, are you sure? Like, I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, like, if his parents were coming, like, they must be a good family. Trust their child. They're willing to come and meet you, so we should also do the same. I was like, okay. Like, still shook, because it's been months now, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, three plus months um, that they were the saying no. The bar slowly rising. rising. So it's like, yeah, I was like, Finally Whoa. took us off the market. Finally actually FaceTimed then now the family's actually getting to meet in person like the, yeah. the it's like slowly going up like anyway okay whatever this means elevation status yeah. is good. i don't know um uh, so yeah that that's happened and that's so now we're moving on to the parents meeting so my parents were there as well as like uh three of my uncles and three of my aunts so this was like a very big gathering from my side and mm -hmm. then his family was there with him and his, his parents yeah, just me my mom and my dad yeah just, just the three of us yeah and it was like a good like gathering it was kind of awkward because they didn't really know what to talk about you know they're they're new people they're trying to find common ground so mm -hmm. It was to be expected. I remember this when I first saw him in person, because this is literally in person now. Like, I, I've been talking to this guy. I think I dressed up. Did I, what did I do? I, yeah, I you dressed were in, up. Like, a button I was, down. In a, I, was in a, I was in a Calvin Klein. I don't know if I had the tie, but I was in a Calvin Klein shirt. And, yeah, like, it was like a navy blue shirt. Yeah. He had like dress pants on. Mm -hmm. And I had like this Indian uh, Gurta Bajma on that was white. When I first saw him, I was like, oh my God. That was crazy. Like, he's <laughs> actually here. And we were so awkward. Like, literally so awkward. By then, we, you mean just, like, you and me? Yeah, me oh, and you. Like, okay. I didn't know what to say to him. Because, obviously, we're in, like, a gathering. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like we could be, like, oh, hey, like, blah, blah. It yeah. was more like, oh, I see you and you see me. But, like, we're not going to talk. So, it was kind of like that. So, there's this tradition, I guess. I serve them, like, tea or something. Yeah, so like I had the tray of tea and like I was going around like serving the tea and then when it came to him I, I was like, do you want some? And then he's like, yeah, and then he looked up at me and it was just so funny. I don't know why. It was hilarious. And then I was like, okay, and like it just kept going along. I kept going along and then I asked my aunt, I was like, hey, was he like looking at me or something? And she's like, yeah, he was really looking at you. And I was like, okay. okay. That's really funny. Um, so yeah, at this meeting though, um, it was to know if this was going to happen basically. Like, mm -hmm. are we actually going to make this happen? Right. And I really valued my parents and my uh, relatives opinion. And this really did matter. Even though I did like him, I wanted to know if they saw something in him or their family that they thought would not be good for me. Like mm -hmm. I would trust their word on that. I think and, likewise with my family too. Like they went yeah. to, see, to try to see if there's anything that they can see mm -hmm. that I just couldn't see. Cause I was like, I don't know likeness blinded or whatever can i fix my hair yeah. yeah if i was like uh blinded by anything or just something that i just couldn't see but um yeah the, the gathering i think went pretty well my mom was the one who did most of this all the speaking 
on yeah. my behalf and yes. she was just telling you straight up like I don't care even if he is my son if there was something wrong I would let you know so like, yeah if you have someone in your corner who can actually like back up everything mm -hmm. bring that person like that, that's your go-to like have, yeah have and when she said that that awesome. really did solidify like hey like this is a good guy like she would let me know and I really trusted her mom when she said that because mm -hmm. it just showed me like the sense of like womanhood if you will even if she doesn't know me she still would wish good on me mm -hmm. so that really like i loved your mom for saying that it was amazing so at this meeting so far you know the mom's talking the uncles are talking but my dad at that meeting was super quiet like very quiet and i was like oh my god this is not going well because he's literally the, like the loudest person in any gathering and to for him to be the quietest person at this gathering just was like whoa like this okay. isn't going well i was like oh my god i wouldn't know this i wouldn't even know how your dad yeah, is because no, i no. never met him so yeah no he was just so quiet I was like oh my god i thought he was just like, like listening the whole time i don't no, know okay. no no like i was like oh my god i don't know what this means because i've never seen him that quiet wow so i didn't know what that meant isha namaz came he in. still hasn't spoken this whole time my dad literally now it's up to isha time mm -hmm. Your mom was like, okay, Hamza lead prayer. Hamza leads prayer. Uh, Hamza, like, mashallah, he recites very well. Yeah, after Isha prayer, this is when my dad, I think, talks. And then my uncles also talk. And they're like, yes, we think this is a good idea. Like, we agree to it. And my dad's like, yes, like, good. He's from a good family. Like, I think he says this out loud or we just... He, we concluded yes, and their parents were there too, and they're like, okay, good, like, you know, yay, like, kind of thing. No, that, that is right. Yeah, then and we're then... like, okay, like, how do we, what's the next move? At this point, it's very late, so, like, we take pictures, and then they leave, and so that basically meant yes, so I was like, whoa, mm -hmm. shook it, and my dad actually spoke toward the end, where he was like, yes, like, I'm okay with this, so he agreed, and that's when he actually spoke, when he agreed, uh, the whole other time he wasn't talking, so when he said that, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, he actually sees what I see, or maybe he sees something more than what I don't see or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And he actually thinks this is a good idea. So all happened because of Allah. Like, right. there's nothing we majorly did besides, you know, tying the camel, like, mm -hmm. praying a stahara, being put respectable. The, put the means out there. We threw the net. Yeah. Fish will come. That's basically how we met. But if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And we hope to see you guys on the next one.